Okay, off we go. A very deep, dark blue. I'm going to try real hard to get that Tree of Life like straight away. It's not even that necessary. Necessary? But I don't think I'm building units until tier 2. We'll see how we go. I might be able to cheekily get an ass ass in. Look at that. Straight in there. And then you got to go back to gold. So once these guys bring in their lumber. I think that'll do. Four and then the rest on the wood. Because you still need to get the lumber for uh, Moonwell and all that good stuff. Or you can skip the Moonwell. Just wait patiently. Go 20 food. But I'm getting so many Moonwells here. So we've got a strategy to basically build Moonwells in other people's bases. Keep them going. Also go bears myself. It was a donation via the YouTube, though, in the f YouTube video description, so it won't actually have a bot with which I can use to pronounce everything. I'm going to go not even into the moon while there. Am I going to make the assumption that my tree is going to... Yeah, it's 9 out of 10 food. I don't see how it's possible. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to need shops and stuff like that. If I do get Ancients of War, it's going to be almost just to defend. Alright, let's get a Wisp in people's bases at least. Create more moon. So we can uh, set up moon wells when need be. The funny thing is, is everyone is a night elf, so building moon wells in other people's bases. What does that even solve? So I can go over the food cap. Yeah, I mean, this will be kind of done soon. Shall I just be patient and not build a moon well on my own base? Create more moon I'm gonna go with another wisp over here. I think that's gonna be what happens. Panda, Beastmaster. This is gonna be up shortly. You're gonna need some wisps to protect this, I'll tell you. In fact, this one might want to come over here as well. Create more moon worlds. I could can Nah, we're, we're up now. We're up and running. Up he goes. Panda's going to be kind of hard to do this creek camp, actually. But he's the first hero. He doesn't really offer much that's useful. Even Drunken Haze might be more useful than Breath of Fire, but Breath of Fire is still going to hit multiple mobs, so we'll go with that. I'm going to assume that I should be able to pull this without getting bolted. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Oh, let's see. I wonder what the heck that was for a moment. I was like, the creeps can't do that, can they? Oh, what am I doing? I've already got the Tree of Life. That's such a habit, man. I already got the tree of life. Okay, off you go. Let's start setting up some moon wells. Not sure where I go, other than just maybe middle and try to solo it, but I don't know about that. Eh, what can you do? Let's give it a go. No idea. I'm not sure if the panda's just going to completely fail at doing this by himself. Looks like he will do. So I'll have to back off shortly. There's a chance I might be able to kill him before I get killed, but I don't know. It's looking a little bit dicey. Alright. I've got the big lad. I've got a wisp from someone else in my base now. Oh, of course there's someone by the fountain. There's two people by the fountain, so I can't enjoy that, unfortunately. That's annoying. I'll have to go all the way back, because as much as it would be nice to go over here, it just takes one death coil and I'm dead. Let's go there and then try to go back. There's two people over there. Oh, what are you doing? I thought I right clicked that onto the... F <laughs> He's just staring at the gold mine. You need to do a bit more than that. 
What are you doing? You could have been gathering gold this whole time. What the heck is he doing? Yep, they start the creek camp. And they are very aggressive. They do not want anyone nearby. Oh my goodness. There's all of them in the middle. I don't think I'm going to get a chance. Look at that. That is some heavy aggression. Oh, even the Death Knight's chasing. Wow. Really? Okay. Maybe I'll go and join my Moonwell that I set up earlier in this guy's base. I don't think we're going to get the middle, though. Any chance of that? Right. Upgrade finished. That's not too bad. Off you go. Should have got the Hunter's Hall done a bit earlier. Boot, boot, boot. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'll do. I just need a few items, a few pieces of the puzzle. This will be up soon. Hello. Down we go. Hello. Now three of them are over there. <laughs> Should be safe for me to go to the middle now and enjoy that. Obviously they'll come over here when they can, which won't be long, so good luck to this staying alive. Yep, there they are. It's going to be one of those games where the enemy team is incredibly coordinated and our team is definitely not. Feels like I'm playing against an arranged team at the moment. No way any of those are going to go up unless someone town portals. And then, oh, we've got one person town portland, so maybe we could get some, some of those up. That's definitely going to help. Oh, that's a large army as well. Very nice. Yep, that actually might work in our favor now. Because now they're fighting against us with a bunch of towers set up. And they've got a whole bunch of vulnerable tier 1 units. So actually, this will work against them. So that will teach them to be so darn aggressive. Run it now. Look at that. Learn your lesson, boys. Oh my, they hate this panda, don't they? Never seen so much hate towards the pan. Got to steal one of these moon juices, I'm afraid. What the hell is this? What's with such a heavy chase? <laughs> Where are we going? Oh my goodness, this enemy team. Such anger. You won't solve your problems, I'm telling you. Right. Do that now. Whatever floats your boat. Got to get Beastmaster. How do you like being chased, eh? Got to go bear first with the Beastmaster. As is par for the course, whilst also going for bears. Good luck versus Mass Airs. Have one on the house. What lies before me? I'm awake. I'm awake. At once. Is trouble brewing? I need to track. You see, my What lies before me? Name your poison. Another One of them's got nice already. Name your 
I'm awake. I'm awake. You see. Name your poison. I gotta look after myself first before I can really help my allies too much. Tier 3 is still quite far away. We need expos as well. I assume they've got a couple. I'm awake. I'm awake. That I can do. Is trouble brewing? Upgrade finish. Research finish. Right, let's get those bear upgrades. Meanwhile, more moon wells. Alright, let's roll out like the Transformers we are. Hello, that's perfect. Thank you. I'm assuming that maybe there's an expansion there because it looked like he came from that direction. So let's have a little look see. There he is. Let's leave the bear over there. Hello. Rawr. Siege bears. Go. Funny. Am I going to get level 3 from this skill? I think I will do, and then I can kill off those wisps. Nope. Never mind. Level 2. Level 1 breath of fire I'll have to do. You got it now. These deep set dark blue bears. Scary. we. This guy needs more moon worlds to save him! This guy's getting that. I don't think I'll put any moon worlds in your base yet, have I? Send in the bears. Boom! It's the bear necessities. Simple bear necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. It's the fair necessity of the nature's race. Please, old oh, bitch! <laughs> I just get to take this base down regardless of what happens. You definitely should back off, though. I'm a bit worried because they're starting to get a lot of air now. As is the case, in 4 versus 4 RT, air reigns supreme. My bears won't be able to match up against the bears, or the airs. The airs with which not much can be done by the bears. I kind of want to level up the Beastmaster. There he is. Get over here, Mr. Beastmaster. Alright, Beastmaster gets over there. You can go and buy some nice stuff. 
I get a hawk so I can see. Give my bears some vision. Oh, please don't get too ganged. I'm supposed to buy moon wells actually, or moon juice. But I haven't got round to that point yet. It's going to take an hour, age to kill them. Right. Let's get ready to defend this guy. Our time is short. Our allies are Get in there, bears! Need a backup dude to heal me. A bit crazy. Base masters Dan again. Have we got everyone Town Portland over to help? Because it does not look at like it. it. Certainly doesn't look like it. All right. I think we did really well there, considering I think there's literally like only two of us defending that. Certainly felt like we were missing quite a lot. I'm awake. I'm awake. Where shall I strike? Of course. You Gotta buy a moonstone for the strategy, and then it's complete. Look at that beastmaster go, he's on a mission. There you go, strategy complete. Siege bears engage! Oh, we're going to do it. Yeah, you're not going to tell more than that one, are you, buddy? Nope. Be gone. This is my base now. The bears are taking over. Mother Nature has come back and wants revenge. That's a lot of hippos, though. <laughs> Can't do too much about that. Slack him. Good job, boyos. So I've got a few moon wells here. I've got moon wells here and moon wells two there. We can put another one over here. For the traitor who abandoned us. Meanwhile, more bears, I suppose. I haven't even done that many upgrades for him. Yeah, I've only got one on the armor. <coughs> Let's do one for the moonwell, actually, because night times are coming. GG, I guess. Level 6 Priestess of the Moon. It's a battle between the hippos, I think, from pink and yellow. I can just send one bear over here and that'll do the job. Only one bear is needed, required, recruited. My hired mercenary to go take out the human filth. He sniffs 
some blood on that peasant. And he's hungry. You see the little butterflies oh, like like another round? Name your poison. Oh is no, they're the coming in. Our time is is the Have one on the house. Ah. There's your damage. Oh, he's just teleported in as the Star Force are coming. There's quite a lot of spicy damage there. Oh, they did get a Storm Bolt on her, unfortunately. Ah, I'm going to lose my pain, though. Wait, let's give some heals out. I got a heal on the Priestess, but there's a lot of folk. I think we need to back. That looks like a heck of a lot, and we're never really together, our entire team, so... Back the heck out. They always seem quite close to one another. Level 5 Panda is a big deal, though. That's going to be level 3 Breath of Fire. Kicking ass. Gold! The sleeper has I'm awake. Ready to Name your oh, what lies before me? I'm awake. You see. Uh oh, depends how many of them TP and kick their ass, because they're going to get at least one. And that pink guy's way in control over there. Now they're going to TP again and probably kill the rest of the yellow and green forces. Yeah, I think we might have just lost the game. But I think the strategy's done regardless of what, whatever throws are being made at the moment. They're looking for a base to go to, aren't they? But most of the bases have got a whole bunch of moon wells. Just don't suicide. Once we can have like a big old town portal and have all of us together, then it will go much better. But at the moment, we're just consistently split all the time, and it's really not helping us. I'm just killing the expansions at the moment. Don't TP to that. Don't even TP to my expansion. It ain't worth it. We can try to make them town portal. That, that might split them up. Nice. We finally get a big old town portal over there. Go, go. This is what we're looking for. Don't care, don't. No one cares about my expansion. Boom! Hello, Flint. Looks like we've reloaded, reload. Level 5? That means level 3. Boy! Oh! Level 6 Panda. Just needs mana. 
Have one on the high strength. Another I round. Bring this door. Name your way. Bring this door. This is why they're called siege bears. They just surround hard on the castle. Oh, because he's entangled, he can't go into bear form. That's interesting. Because I was like, is he silenced? I couldn't put him into bear form. I'll have that bear patrolling back and forth. I'm probably in a safe enough position now where I can actually read out the strategy. Because I've been holding it back otherwise. So, Sheila Andreas says, strategy gay bear barkeep. Since you always get shit allies, maybe they need to fix their Kool-Aid to play proper. Play as Night Elf in 4 vs 4 RT and be their barkeeper. Build and maintain at least 3 to 4 moon wells in all of your allies' places, starting with the outer edge ones. Always buy a moonstone when visiting your shop to help the glue sniffers. Your heroes first, Panda, Brewmaster, and second, Beastmaster, summon bear first. Units taken to Druids of the Claw. So yes, we got our moon, three moons over there. Three, well, five moons on that one. And three moons there. And they've been... Pretty reliable. I haven't had to do any real repairing for those Moonwells. Summon Sibias. Roar! Let's go! Kaboom! Final battle. I got Stampede as well. <laughs> it's been done. What's done is done. Taking these frustrations out. This bear's doing a good job patrolling the woods. I actually have got free nil damage, free two actually. So I did get some upgrades finally. Panda's coming in, but stand pieces. Get the That's one way to use up your mana. Celebration. Three. Another round. Another hunt. Fun to get that last upgrade. I've got too many bears. Don't know what to do with them all. Very beastly game indeed. At least you don't get splash damage from Chimeras anymore. Do you remember that? That was fun times. GG! Both heroes over level 6 as well. Not bad.